Hi, I'm Lauren Bregitzer, and I'm going to give you an overview of the Ableton Live instruments, the ones that come with Ableton Live 11 suite. Now, this may differ depending on which version of Ableton Live that you have. But what I have here set up is just one track, a MIDI track with just an arpeggiator, another one with chords, depending on which instrument I'm using. So before I start, again, all these different instruments will show up under the sounds category. Like if you're not looking for a specific instrument, but a particular sound, you can go through and drag one of these presets on there. And it'll call up whatever preset it is, whether it's a uh, an analog or a sampler or simpler. Um, you can just go in here and it will automatically load in what it is. So if I go through here and I want to grab a pad or something like that, I can click on it and just audition it. I'm going to drag that onto my chords track here. And it calls up, you know, whatever instrument that may be. It looks like it's three stacked simpler patches here. So that's a way of just grabbing sounds without worrying about different instruments. But to get to the different instruments in Ableton Live 11, I'm just going to click over here at the instruments category. And we can see analog collision. I'm going to skip the CV instruments and the drum rack and the drum one, drum rack and drum synth, because those are you know, separate when you're programming drums. Uh, electric, external instrument, impulse, instrument rack, operator, sam sampler, simpler, and tension, and wavetable. I'll briefly go through all of those really quick. All right. So to start off with, I'm going to grab analog. So that's an analog synth emulator. I'm going to drag that onto my arpeggiator track. And uh, with this arpeggiator, let's hear how it sounds just by default. And it's got two oscillators. You can detune one of them. Play with a filter. Resonator. Now, if I want to grab one of the presets from it, I can just click on the triangle to expand it out. And maybe I want just some sort of um, oh, bass sound. Drag that on there. And this shows up as an instrument rack, which I'll get into later, but it has uh, the analog in there as well as some effects that you can adjust with these macros here. All right, so let's get rid of that. Moving on, the next instrument is Collision. So Collision is an analog modeling uh, instrument. And so it's very similar to the resonator effect that you saw earlier. Um, you can, it's set to, just by default, it's set to beam. I'm going to hit play on there. You can change materials. And parameters. And it comes with a healthy set of presets. All right, next up, I'm going to skip the CV because those are part of the control voltage tools. And I'm also going to skip the drum rack because that's a drum rack and drum synth because those are um, percussive elements. And we're going to deal with that in a separate video. All right, next up is electric. I'm going to go into the chords section for that. So I'm going to just drag electric onto this chords track. And let's just hear how it sounds and discover what it is. So it's meant to model uh, these vintage electric pianos, whether it's a Rhodes or Wurlitzer style pianos. You can go in and again, there's a bunch of presets, but I can just play with the uh, different elements. There's some great, great presets with that, but you also might find some better ones under the sampler category. Um, so moving on, the next instrument that we have here is external instrument. That's if you want to plug in an external instrument into your audio interface. So that's something we're going to skip for the time being. Impulse is also a percussive instrument that's sort of been replaced by the drum racks. So it's not used all that often. I'll uh, I'll just completely skip that. Instrument rack is just not a specific instrument, but it's a rack that you could have multiple instruments. So if you want to layer those on top of each other, I'll cover that in a different video. All right, next up we have is operator. Operator does a couple different things, and it's one of the more powerful instruments in Ableton Live, even though it looks pretty 
um, simple here. It's basically a four operator FM synthesizer, but it's also an additive synthesizer. So if you want to learn up, read up on FM synthesis, you can learn all about that. But here I just have one oscillator playing. So it's just a single sine wave. If you want to use the FM functionality, you can go in and depending on the algorithm, my algorithms are down here. I can see that this, this, this oscillator feeds into this oscillator here. So I can actually turn up this second oscillator and adjust the fine tuning to create sort of these different harmonic shapes that you don't get from an analog sounding synthesizer. Sort of clangorous type sounds, metallic sounds, glass type sounds, things you won't see in an analog style synthesizer. Again, it's also an additive synthesizer. So if I click on this oscillator button here, it shows me a single sine wave. I can actually draw in harmonics on there and sort of create my own waveform. Oh, not this one, this one. That has a nice filter attached to it. But you can also grab these uh, these wave presets. So I can grab like a 64 um, harmonic sawtooth wave. Or you know, square wave. Or, or an a harmonic sawtooth wave. And you can just manually draw in whatever you want. So you can use it to create all kinds of interesting sounds. So a lot of big sound designers like to use Operator, and it's great for that. All right. So next up is Sampler. Sampler is uh, a multi-sample device. You can have multi multiple samples and layers and velocity layers that... It can be very complex. It's similar to Contact from Native Instruments, and it has a whole host of similar sounds to Contact. So if I open up Operator, I might just jump into the presets, maybe I go into the, the uh, let's see, if I go into the presets for Sampler, I go open up Orchestral, and I can find these, you know, Brass Quartet, String Quartet, which are new in Ableton Live 11. Uh, but and drag that onto that chord track. Now let's hear how that sounds. Might take a second to load because it's loading up really long samples, but let's hear how it sounds. It sounds fantastic. Uh, I can do the same thing, just dra drag that brass quartet on there. All right, let's hear how that sounds. That sounds awesome. So that's a variety of different things you can have. You know, if I want to grab a pad sound, I can do that. Um, yoga pad. Maybe don't use that for anything. <laughs> all right. So you can see all the different sounds that you have and you can choose from. So Sampler is great. And also if you want to build multi-sampled instruments, Sampler is really great. Now Simpler, as the name sort of implies, it's a simpler version of the Sampler. Um, oftentimes you use it in drum rack. So you have different samples, like a different kick drum sample and a snare drum sample, and you put them in a drum rack. And Sampler is what's used to trigger those. But you can also use it for... Um, you know, melodic sounds. So I can actually go in here and grab this, you know, single vocal sample of uh, singer singing in awe. I'm going to go in here and I can just turn the start button here and maybe bring the volume down. And it's taking that one sample and creating a, you know, chordal instrument that I can play chords with. So let's hear how that sounds.
that's pretty amazing just from one vocal note and just a single instance of simpler i can use that to create you know different types of sounds all right next instrument we have is tension so tension and i'm going to use my arpeggiated uh, track for that is a stringed instrument modeler so um, just by default almost sounds like a nylon guitar being plucked um, and there's a bunch of different samples with that but you can change the way it sounds i can make it bowed so it sounds very violinish. you know if i slowed my tempo way down You can run that through different effects processors and have a lot of fun with that. So last up is this wavetable. So with wavetable, I it's it's new in Ableton Live 10, and it's a powerful, you know, obviously wavetable synthesizer, as the name implies. Um, just opening up, it gives me one oscillator. The one thing I like is you can click on this triangle to expand it out, and you can see your two different oscillators on the screen here, your LFOs, three different envelopes, as well as this matrix and filter section. So you can go in here and just... Uh, just with the basic waveforms. And you can go in and there's different categories. And you can change the position of the wavetable. And this is there's gonna be a much larger tutorial on how to use wavetable, but it's quite powerful. Um, again, it has great presets, but if I go in here to this, you know, sawtooth wave. I can add the second oscillator, detune one, use this filter section in the bottom left. I can easily attach this envelope two to that uh, cutoff frequency just by dialing it up in the matrix. It has this great unison section that you can use. Shimmer or Classic are my two favorites on there. So that's it. That's my quick overview on the different instruments that you have with Ableton Live 11. Um, of course, you can use your own external synths if you choose to through the plugins category. Um, but other than that, enjoy these because they're very powerful, especially when you combine them with different effects that you can layer on top of there. Thank you and stay tuned for the next video.